We've reached the final out. This is the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Post Game Show is brought to you by the BYU Store, official outfitter of BYU fans everywhere. Also by Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. Also by Zion's Bank. For banking that helps you game plan for life, Zion's Bank is for you. Let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. BYU falls to 9-16 and 16 on the year, 5-5 five and five in the West Coast Conference. Portland goes to 15-13, and 7-3 and three in the WCC. Pilots 5 and BYU 3 are final score. Final stats presented by Deseret News. Portland 5 runs on 9 hits. They committed a single error, left 12 on. BYU 3 runs on 6 hits. They committed 4 errors and left 6 on. BYU led 3-2 after 6 in the top of the 7th. BYU issued a leadoff walk. The next batter singled, so first and second and none out. In an attempt to sacrifice bunt, Henry Mensch actually ended up putting it too hard to third. Third baseman handled, but a throwing error allowed runners to advance and score. An intentional walk, a sacrifice fly, a single up the middle, and it was a three-run inning just like that. Uh, And so Portland going up 5-3, held the lead the rest of the way and wins it by the score of 5-3, 5-3, to three. and it was a throwing error there in the 7th that kind of got things going. And again, what the throwing error did was uh, load the bases, uh, or actually did bring a runner home and uh, put runners at first, second and third, the intentional walk, and then things happened from there uh, on a game that kind of got away on a throwing error in the 7th. So that's the way it broke down tonight. Uh, we'll come back with more individual numbers of note. Final score is Portland 5 and BYU 3 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is the BYU Baseball Post Game Show. Now back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. All right, so BYU falls to Portland tonight. The final score is 5-3, to three, game one of a three-game set. So these two teams will do it again tomorrow night with a 6.06 p.m. first pitch. BYU head coach Mike Littlewood joining me right now in the press box. And, and coach, a game you lead 3-2 after 6, and a play you appear to have made gets away from you and kind of opened the floodgates in a sense and it's kind of unfortunate to see a, a, an inning kind of unspool that way because good things were being done out there well it's amazing you know we we run that we we worked on that probably for 45 minutes at practice the other day on on our bunt defenses and we ran it to perfection and we just can't finish plays I mean that's what killed us our infield defense lost this game for us tonight I feel bad for the pitching staff. I mean, um, I told Coach Herring in the fourth inning, I'm embarrassed tonight to be in this dugout wearing this uniform because the way we're playing is not is not Cougar baseball. And, uh, you know, we can keep saying time after time that the talent's there and they need to develop, but we're, we're just missing. I mean, we're letting balls go through the middle of our legs and then we bobble it in right and give them an extra base, um, throw easy balls away. You know, just it's it just it's really, really frustrating to me. And, and I let them have it just now. I, I mean, I, I told the guys that, you know, they they uh, they got they better start making plays um, or we're going to start putting pitchers on, out, in the, out in the infield and let the pitchers try because our position players are not getting it done. We say off times hitting is contagious and things like that, and it just seems like you're not able to get through too many error-free games lately. Saturday was one at Santa Clara, and you win yeah. the game 3-1. Well, and I mean, it, it's almost like we have to play to perfection to win, and that's what it feels like right now, and I'm sure it feels like that of the pitching staff. I just, I told them, our pitchers have to, to throw a shutout in, a, in order for us to even have a chance to win, and it's, and it's really, really frustrating. And, it's, uh, and again, I'm telling you, it's, it is nothing, it's nothing physical. It's, it's mental, and they get out there, and when they walk between the chalk, when the lights are on, and for some reason they just can't get it done, and, and they need need to get over that hump. Um, or I'm just going to try different guys, and and um, you know, see. I, I told them I'm like, I'll flip a coin if I have to to to, to do the lineup tomorrow because it, it obviously doesn't matter when I put hours and hours of thought into how to put this lineup together uh, if we don't simply make plays because we gave this game away tonight. Portland pitchers uh, did K 15 BYU batters tonight. They were good. We didn't make adjustments. You know, uh, Bryce comes in and did a really good job on the mound for us, but. You did see their team kind of sit back and just say, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I see that changeup." Bryce has a great changeup, and uh, they had a couple of hitters that just they they just made that changeup be up in the zone, and they got a couple of key hits and moved guys around. And that's actually when we when we ran that bunt defensive play, um, our it's called our wheel play to perfection. Yeah. Had the lead runner and, and just throw it in the dirt. I mean, we have to make plays, and you know, I I don't want to harp on it and harp on it because it, again, it's like. 
putting, free throw shooting, it's contagious, like you just said. And, and I don't want him to get to th- start thinking, but um, um, there's certain guys you won't see in the lineup tomorrow for sure. Okay, well, a series win is still uh, in the offing. If you come back and do it the way you want to here in the next couple nights, and that's our hope for you and the boys. Mike, thanks for the time. All right, thanks, Greg. All right, that is Mike Littlewood. We'll come back and wrap it up after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is the BYU Baseball Post Game Show. Now back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Final score tonight is uh, Portland 5 and BYU 3. Just some individual numbers of note before we get out of here tonight. Uh, Cole Gamble was... One for four at the plate. Uh, Cooper Vest was a one for three with a run scored. Mitch McIntyre, one for four. Andrew Pintar, two for three with a run scored and a run uh, an RBI. He got BYU going with a run scoring single in the first inning. Uh, Joshua Cowden had the big blast, a two-run shot. He was one for four with that hit and two RBI. And the home run in the fourth put BYU in front 3-2. was a lead the Cougs would relinquish in the seventh. And that kind of ruined uh, BYU's uh, uh, a very good BYU record when leading after six. In fact, first time all year that BYU's lost a game when leading after six innings. They were six and zero oh when leading after six. That goes to six and one. And uh, Portland um, had been zero uh, oh and twelve when trailing after six, and now go to one and twelve with a win tonight with those three comeback runs in the seventh inning. So I gave you Joshua Cowden's numbers. Uh, that's the last hit out of the lineup for BYU. Nothing beyond the number five hitter with a hit for BYU tonight. So all the hits come in the first five hitters in the order. Everyone else went hitless the rest of the way down the line for BYU tonight. On a night where the Cougars string together six hits for three runs, Portland nine hits for five runs, and the errors were the big number of the night, four of them for BYU, certainly contributing on this evening in which BYU pitchers give up, uh, where the team gives up five runs, but of those five runs, just two were earned And BYU's three earned runs weren't enough to win this one here tonight. So that's your final score, Portland 5 and BYU 3. All right, uh, more BYU baseball tomorrow with uh, Tuckett Slade and Jason Shepard, your play-by-play tandem. Tune in for them at 6 o'clock Mountain Time, first pitch at 6.06. For today, our thanks to the crew back at BYU Radio, our control board operator, Braden Flint, our coordinating producer, Terry South. We appreciate those guys. Uh, Broadcast interns as well, serving at Sean Fay and Barry Squires, our engineers and our BYU Radio Assistant Station Manager, Sean O'Neill, also instrumental in organizing these broadcasts. So for all those folks, my thanks to BYU Head Coach Mike Littlewood for joining us in postgame, and my name is Greg Rubel, thanking you for tuning us in. So in the meantime and in between time, this has been BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Good night and so long from Provo, Utah. You have been listening to live coverage of BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Baseball is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. Special thanks to BYU President Kevin Worthen, Vice President Keith Vorkink, Athletic Director Tom Homo, and Associate Athletic Director for Corporate Sponsorships, Casey Stoffer. BYU Baseball is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.